and welcome to another video. This video is a short one to show you how I made the base for my Arabian running horse. If you missed that and want to check it out, links will be in the description. So for this base, I'm using a piece of oak that my uncle cut for me. I am not a woodworking expert, so if you plan on making your own wood shape to start with, I'd watch a different video on that first. You can also find lots of nice pre-cut wood pieces that are a good base at any hobby stores and home improvement stores. You can also make the whole thing entirely out of epoxy, but it's not super cost effective, though it's fine for a smaller base. You can see I did that for this model here. My horse has posts built into the legs, so I drilled in holes of that size, making sure to mark where I want them to be first. You would do the same if you want the base to have the supports instead, just glue in the rods that match the holes in the object you're putting on the base. I'm using oak since it's strong and will hold the weight. If your object doesn't have that much of a lean, soft wood like pine is fine. If you need more strength but only have a softer wood, you can also drill a big hole first and fill that with epoxy. Once that's hardened, you can drill in the smaller hole. You can even push it into the soft epoxy if it's an unusual shape. Just make sure it's wet first so it doesn't stick. So as you can see, I'm covering the top with my Aves two-part epoxy. I'm just using a thin layer to make the top look like ground. To texture it, you can use a lot of different things. My favorite is crumpled aluminum foil. I want to add in some rocks, so I place blobs of epoxy and then use a flat surface to press random angles into it so it isn't perfectly round. Here I'm just using a pastel pan. Then I can go in with a knife and cut the edges off. I repeat this over the whole base in various sizes, making it look natural, which is pretty easy because rocks are random. Once that's all hardened, I can prime it with some Krylon spray, and after that's dry I can paint. First I go over everything with a brown acrylic paint. I then blot it with a tissue to bring out the texture. Next I can go in with a sandy tone to highlight the dirt. I make sure my brushes are pretty dry and blot off any extra paint so that the textures come through. I let that dry and then go over everything with a watery brown wash. Next I add gray to the rocks, blotting them for texture. Once I'm happy with how it's looking, I can paint the base black for a nice contrast.
For some touches of green, I paint down tacky glue with a cheap brush and then sprinkle terrain grass over it. You can find this grass flocking at most craft and hobby stores in all sorts of colors and sizes. I tap off any excess so I can see what's sticking. I pour one last pass over everything. Once it's dry, I can spray it with some Krylon matte spray to seal in the paint and eliminate any shine from the glue. And we're done! Thank you for watching this quick little video, I hope you learned something! Make sure to boop that like button and subscribe for more projects!